The river is the breeding ground for vast swarms of black flies. Excellent food for a lizard if it can catch them. In the early morning, the Agrabi's flat lizards emerge from the cracks in the rocks where they spent the night and bask in the sun to warm up. The males are the brightly coloured ones, as you can see from his marvellous blue head. Uh, but it's not his head that impresses his rivals so much, it's the underside which, if he's a high-status male, will be bright orange and yellow. And if another one turns up, he will try and impress his rival by exposing that. These awkward-looking postures reveal why these creatures are called flat lizards. By regularly displaying their vivid badges, the males repeatedly confirm their place in the pecking order and so keep fighting to a minimum. As a female moves from one territory to another, so each male courts her in turn. And now they're really warmed up and active. And whole groups of them are beginning to travel down across the rocks towards the river where they'll find their food. But down here, where the flies swarm, it's a free-for-all. And that causes a lot of trouble. Catching flies is necessarily an acrobatic business. But you can't leap for flies and still keep properly spaced out. So there are inevitably quarrels between rival males. Females, on the other hand, are only interested in getting a good meal. Fired up males, however, have other ideas. For them, there is more to life than just dinner. And some won't take no for an answer. Females want food. They need a square meal to nourish the eggs that are developing within them. But they won't get any peace until they leave the restaurant and get back home where life is better regulated. <laughs> 